Well, good afternoon from Jacksonville, Florida. My name is Brian Knight, and I'm here today with Nate Hallowell. Uh, Nate is our, a lot of our behind the scenes action we're starting to do today. You know, he does a lot of the consulting projects here. He's the face behind a lot of our consulting engagements. Nate, tell us about, first of all, we're, we're going to be covering a session here, kind of a preview for the session you have coming up, mm -hmm. uh, a session on planning Power Apps. But tell us, first of all, what is your journey to get into Power Apps land? Because you started, you had a pretty unique journey, I thought. Yeah, no, thank you. So um, nice to see everybody. My name is Nate. I'm a solution architect here at Pragmatic Works, like Brian said. But uh, I didn't always come from that world. So actually, I like to say in a previous life, I was a recruiter. And um, yeah, one year, actually right right before COVID, right, right during COVID, my boss came to me and kind of asked me to help her with coming up with some sort of tool to help manage the day-to-day -day operations of the team. And I started going down the Excel route and uh, I was like, you know what, I think I can do better. And I have the time right now because during COVID, COVID. <laughs> no one was recruiting, no one was hiring. So I had plenty of time on my hands. And um, yeah, I started just kind of poking around our internet to see what we had access to. I discovered the Power Platform and I instantly became obsessed with it. So I actually taught myself uh, Power Apps and Power Automate awesome. using the Pragmatic Works YouTube channel. Every time I had a problem, I ended up coming back to this channel and uh, learned a lot from you no. oh. without you even knowing it. So uh, from there, just kind of grew and built more and more apps for the talent team at this firm that I was at and then moved into their innovation team and then left there and did some federal consulting. and. Now oh, here awesome. as, a, as a solution architect. So that's it's fantastic. been quite the journey. So you've seen some stuff. I've seen some stuff. Uh, as especially a recruiter, I can imagine you've seen <laughs> some really, really uh, interesting stuff. I've done some bad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so as part of that doing some bad stuff and seeing some bad stuff, tell us, like, what is the number one mistake you see people make when it comes to a power platform solution? It's honestly all about what this session next week is about. It's failing to properly plan and come up with a plan before you dive in and start just trying to attack the problem. What? So many people just dive in and they want to start building because let's be honest, building apps, building automations, it is fun and it's yeah, addicting. Yeah. And once you get used to how the tools work and you know that you can solve a problem, you just want to dive right in and start solving that problem. But failing to go into it and failing to ask the right questions, failing to talk to the right people. Whiteboard. To whiteboard, yeah. to figure out what you're doing and how you're gonna do it. Honestly, that process should take a, almost as, as long as it takes to start building the app. Like it, You should spend a lot of time planning what your Power Platform project is gonna look like. And so many people yeah. don't do that. And then at the end of it, they come out with something that um, doesn't really work or doesn't work as intended or isn't scalable or start from scratch again yeah and you have to start from scratch again yeah. that's that's very common well what, what should people expect in this webinar are you doing next week so for next week they should expect to um, just have a really good handle on all of the steps that go into the before you actually start building process so things like learning how to properly scope learning how to ask the right questions learning how to think about data sources and connectors and start to think about licensing mm -hmm. and think about governance and application lifecycle management, just all the things that are required to, to make a successful project. Especially for a larger company also. Yeah, exactly. Are there any prerequisites they'll have for this, uh, to get ready for this? There's not a single prerequisite anyone's going to need to have. Most of our Learn With The Nerds in the past have been very demo heavy and follow along. Mm -hmm. This one is going to be kind of higher level and gotcha. um, we're going to do some some fake interactions. I'm going to have Andrew here with me. He's one of our fellow trainers and he's going to kind of play the role of a customer. Difficult customer? Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully he <laughs> takes it easy on me. But um, yeah, it's going to be very high level. Um, we're going to do some demos and everything that I talk about as far as how to start thinking about data sources and connectors and how to connect your apps and your flows. Um, and how to set those up in a way that is, you know, suitable for application lifecycle management. I'm going to show all of those things, but I don't think the people coming to the event next week right, need to right. have anything set up beforehand to see that. Yeah, I can imagine, like, the way you build these apps varies dramatically whether you have SharePoint or SQL Server, and especially if you want to use Dataverse, you know, that exactly. opens up, opens up the, 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 the kimono for a lot, of, a lot more things down the road also. Exactly. Awesome. So are, is there any, like, especially new feature that you're really jazzed about in Power Platform that you want to you potentially show? I'm really excited about the plan 
feature in Power Apps. So now you can use generative AI to just tell Power Apps what you're thinking about building and what the problem that your team is having. Yeah. And it will it will come up with a plan for you. Um, so I would definitely want to show that. It only works if you're planning on using Dataverse. And if you've asked all those right questions and you know you want to use Dataverse, then using the plan feature could be a really cool it thing. It is a really cool feature, though. Yeah. yeah. So is there um, any candy you're going to give people after some, any free candy? You're going you're to drive in your white van and give away anything? <laughs> so um, <laughs> I am in the process right now of putting together um, kind of a template script that you can go through as you're scoping these projects. and kind of um, the right questions to ask so that you can come up with that that flow chart like you were talking about before you know knowing how to ask the right questions right, right. so that you can come out with okay if they answer this way then that means we're going to use this data source and if they answer this way we're going to go this other route which a little cheat sheet um, yeah. just kind of guiding that conversation so what prompted you to do this webinar like what, and you've seen a lot of stuff I imagine and, and are you seeing people repeat the same mistakes over and over again yeah so I've been here at Pragmatic Works for over three years and in that time I've done a lot of hackathons and virtual mentoring mm -hmm. um, people watching this may, may not have seen my face before I don't do a ton of the uh, the on-demand learning content but I work with companies building solutions with them for a long time and what's really exciting is now we are able to build solutions for customers. So our hands are on the keyboard and uh, I've been having a ton of these conversations with these customers who have either tried to implement something in the Power Platform and it didn't work as they intended or we're having those conversations with them now and we're planning these projects and I was like, you know what, I have this Learn with the Nerds event coming up and I think this would be an awesome topic because we're doing so many of these planning sessions right yeah. now and I think so many people don't know how to do them properly. And really it's the same kind of, whether you're doing this or AI or a, an automation project, really the same kind of concepts Power BI, apply. Fabric, yeah. the same concepts always Absolutely. apply. Yeah. Awesome, well thank you so much. Last question here, Okay. Uh -oh. Star Trek or Star Wars? <laughs> oh, I think the fans are gonna hate me. I, can, I, can go, I gotta go neither. What? Okay. <laughs> All right. This is just learn with the nerds. All right. You got to get bonus time then. Okay. Then both. I meant. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> football or American football? Ooh, American football. Okay. Yeah. You're really only the Europeans now. So you're. But you're, I am a hockey. Way. Yeah. I am a hockey you're fan a hockey through and through. Okay. Yeah. Hockey player too. No. Hockey less. player. Yeah. We do oh. actually do have a men's league here in Jacksonville. There is there is an ice rink. So That's if anyone nice. wants to come to the community first igloo on Sunday nights at ten forty five. <laughs> They try hard, guys. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us in this preview of next week's session. You'll find it uh, next Thursday. Uh, it'll be a live session just like this. So you make sure you come with your questions. And Nate and Andrew will answer them live during that session. Uh, Nate, thanks for joining us today. And good luck in your uh, live session. Thanks so much, Brian. See you everyone there. Take care.